Hello, hola, and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to edit photography using Final Cut X. I am Essie Enriquez with ECE Creative in Artismo Studio Share. Here we go, ladies and gents. Most likely, you're already going to have an event created already. If not, go ahead, go up to File, oops, sorry, go up to File, New, Event. Uh, but since you already have the event probably already most likely created, all we want to do is go ahead, go to New, Create, a new project this is where it's really gonna matter so what you're gonna see usually is this window right here you're gonna want to title your project whatever and you're gonna want to come down here and hit use automatic settings boom really basic let's hit OK now after you've done that you see that there's a brand new project down here you've got nothing on the timeline whatsoever you've already uploaded your vertical images your vertical photography um, by go ahead and right clicking import media or going up here and hitting import media so go ahead these are raw files from a Canon 5d mark II camera um, so let's go ahead select this clip and go ahead hit the letter E to drag it down or sorry hit the letter E or just go ahead and drag it down into the timeline once you do that you'll see that this window opens up for you right here this is where you're gonna want to come up to format format says 1080p right now usually that's for video 1920 by 1080 is what you're watching most of your YouTube stuff Facebook stuff all that kind of stuff if you have okay internet if not well, you're probably watching in like 480 or 720 or something like that. But let's go right over here under Format, open that up, hit Custom, and that's going to change the resolution right here. You can tell it already did that by itself. So that is beautiful. All you got to do now is hit OK, nothing else to it. And there we go. We see that your shot is now a vertical shot. Just like in any other program, you're going to want to put your clicker right over top of it. And from here, of course, you can use any of the plugins that come in with Final Cut X already. Or you can go ahead, um, sort of buy new plugins. There's places like Pixel Film Studios, um, all those kind of places where um, you'll be able to, uh, to buy plugins. Now, all the plugins that you do buy for uh, video, you'll also be able to use them for... Um, for photography now there'll be some tweaks here and there that you have to do obviously um, because this program was not meant to um, to edit much photography so and of course I do not recommend this over um, Lightroom and Photoshop this is not a replacement for those programs this is for the filmmaker who's already working his butt off doing a bunch of film stuff and his client throws him a bone saying hey look we need somebody to do uh, photography can you go ahead and uh, and edit some of these images or can you go ahead and take these images and then edit them now of course you don't want to go ahead and start a whole learning a whole new program like Lightroom and Photoshop um, or you might you know that's completely up to you I don't I don't have the time that would be crazy so I usually just hire somebody for that um, but if you want to do yourself um, this is a really easy way to go ahead and do it now of course from here you can go ahead open up your little triangle up here where all your color stuff will be you can kind of play with color do whatever you want uh, exposure you can put a little bit more contrast in it you can go over here under color curves and start kind of playing with the colors uh, with the color curves over here a little bit more there's more red let's take that down so you get the point you can do basic stuff pretty much over here nothing super crazy um, and yeah of course you guys saw we did do these shots over here now these are a whole group of shots that are meant to be printed obviously large format print um, to be hung um, so these are a little bit different these are a little bit more uh, weird uh, but these were super easily made so stay tuned for a video to kind of show you guys how I did these images how we did these uh, skeleton images here's the uh, original uh, with the projector so um, but yeah, that'll be a whole totally separate video. So anyways, you have your file already edited right down here on your timeline. You did all the edits you wanted to do. Added your logo if you wanted, blah, 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 whatever else. You're going to go now to File. And you're not going to want to go to Master File. You're just going to want to go over here and hit Save Current Frame. Now when you hit this, it'll give you a couple different options once it pops up here we go you can label it right here but go under settings and right over here you can select JPEG 
JPEG image, DPX, OpenEXR, Photoshop file, which is great if you're working with an actual photographer. You want to just kind of do some basic tweaking on some images and then send it to her or to him. Um, and as a Photoshop file for them to work on, that'd be great. TIFF file, PNG image, you get the point. Those are pretty much the only options you got. You can go ahead and select JPEG image, hit next. And ladies and gentlemen, you are all done. Right here, you can see where it says the resolution of the image or oh, the size of the image. Here we go. And label whatever you want to label. Hit save. I'm not going to hit save because there's no need for me to do that. And you're all done. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Let me know. Let me know what you'd like to see next. What kind of video. Um, this is a very basic, basic tutorial. But again, it's uh, something that not a lot of people are using right now. And uh, when they do try to use, they get confused on how to actually do it. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you have a great and wonderful day. And see you soon. Adios.